I'm most happy with the fact that we've been able to come up with a design language that is very unique, doesn't, uh, it's unconfusable, it doesn't look like anything else out there on the road, uh, and it really reflects the McLaren values, which are you know, innovation, courageousness, this very obsessed way of taking weight out of the car. So what we've achieved with the uh, P1 is to give it a look that, in general, it looks very uh, vacuum-packed or, or, or shrink-wrapped. We're not the kind of company that shows a concept car and then goes on to build a different kind of car for, for production. We designed basically a concept car from the start, so it was interpreted to be a concept car. The only difference with this car is that we needed to increase a bit more the downforce in the front, and we found the way to do it by taking air out of what we call the LTRs, the low temperature radiators in the front, taking the air out on the sides, so the vents that you see in the front wheels, those are there specifically to give it more downforce in the front. That's actually the only thing that's changed. I think in the uh, spirit of innovation that we had with the F1, which set a whole new level, if we can follow along that route with the P1, then we've achieved our goal of raising the bar again. And, and the car does do that, so the P1 does do that. And so I think uh, people accept it probably as the spiritual successor uh, to the F1. It has that kind of impact of, uh, of bringing new things to the game, a new look, uh, simplicity, but optimized technology, the very cutting edge of technology. And so I think by, by designing that way, you're avoiding trends also. You're not out of fashion next year. Uh, if you try to follow other people, obviously it's gonna be out of date uh, fairly quickly. So if you can actually cut through that, become the, the leader in technology, you're always gonna be at the top and setting the trends yourself. So it's a, it's a good position to, to strive for.